Hey guys, here's a non-motorcycle or jokes or anything else related video that might interest some of you. Assuming that you're of the legal drinking age and wherever it is that you live. And that's my little disclaimer. Or your parents are supervising you or however. As long as you're, you're drinking responsibly and legally, I'm not going to lecture anyone. Because, yeah. But anyway, Bud Select, 99 calories, 4.3% alcohol. Bud Select 55. 55 calories, 2.4% alcohol. They both have very, very low carbs. This is like 3.1 and 1.9, I believe. Um, color, you can't really tell because I'm already through most of the Select 55. They're almost exactly the same color. Uh, if anything, which it's hard to believe, I think the Select 55 might be a tiny, tiny, tiny bit darker. It could just been where they're sitting on the table. Doesn't really look like it right now. They look... Yeah, they look pretty much exactly the same. But flavor, um, almost non-existent with a Select 55, honestly. It's got a little bit of a beer aftertaste to it, but it doesn't... I mean, the fin I mean, I'm saying the finish. It tastes like a beer in a finish. It doesn't have much body. It's I mean, it's crisp and refreshing, kind of like a glass of water, but... It's not something that I'm ever going to spend money on again. I just bought them to try them. I've had the Mil Miller Select 50 64, and it's it's worse than the Bud Select 55, in my opinion. But I wouldn't buy either one of them. I've also had Michelob Ultra, which has a little bit more... It's got a little stronger of a finish than the Bud Select, the regular Bud Select. But overall, I don't like the flavor as much as the Bud Select. So if I'm going to choose a real low-calorie beer from now on, it's going to be... But select, it's decent. I mean, it's not great. I mean, if I'm really, if I just want to drink a beer, I'll usually break out a Sam Adams. Sometimes a Labatt. Uh, I'll drink Labatt a lot when it's on draft because it's more common on draft than is Sam Adams, and it's it's not as thick, it's not as full bodied, so it's easier to drink more of. And I like the flavor of a Labatt. I really like Killian's also. Heineken's decent. Get some Heineken back there. Heineken's decent. Corona's pretty good. I like Corona. Uh, I didn't used to. I don't know what changed. Sometimes I do it with a lime. I'll cut a lime up and I'll stick a slice in the bottle. Sometimes I don't. It doesn't really make much of a difference to me. I do think it's got a good, for a regular beer, a full strength beer, it's got a good crisp flavor to it. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it's decent. Sam Adams I like a lot. Here's Sapporo, which is another decent choice in beer. Also not one of my favorites. Hofbrau Original is a really good one. As far as other alcoholic beverages, um, stay away from Cardi 151 in the back corner over there. The infamous... Oh. Yeah, I've had this bottle for a while because I just don't drink it anymore. As I was told by my grandfather once, uh, I like how they have warning flammable over it. This stuff is really flammable. It's got a little flame protector thing on there. Flame arrestor, resistor, whatever they call it. I just had a bad experience with that. I really love rum and coke. Um, I like Bailey's Mint Chocolate, as you see a couple bottles over there, and a lot of bottles up there. Those are empties. I like Bailey's Mint Chocolate and milk, skim milk, and we drink skim. Or I take the cappuccino machine, make some espresso, and mix that with warmed up Bailey's. And it makes a nice little Bailey's latte. So, uh, gin and tonic's also one of my favorites. Tangeray's is one of the better gins to have with gin and tonic. But I buy cheap gin back there. That one. And Apple Jack's. If you've never had an Apple Jack, it's just an um, Apple Pucker and Jack Daniels or any other kind of whiskey. I've got that Canadian Club. I like the Jack better than the Canadian Club, not going to lie. But Jack's a lot more expensive, so if you're on a budget, just pick up some cheaper full-strength whiskey and, and some Apple Pucker, and that's a decent shot. Don't like martinis. I, I made, uh, I bought, I've got some dry vermouth back there. Extra dry vermouth. Ugh. And gin. I just was not a fan. I tried vodka martinis too. Wasn't a fan. This is Smirnoff Blue. 
which is 100 proof vodka. DiSerrano is just amazing, by the way. If you haven't tried it, you should pick some up. But um, the 100 proof vodka back there makes excellent screwdrivers. I love Smirnoff Blue and Orange Juice. It's really good. I used to drink um, straight green apple. Clearly, I used to drink it because it's almost gone now, but straight green apple Smirnoff vodka, and I don't really do that anymore. You can also make apple teenies with that shit, but I'm also not a big fan of any kind of martini, so I just can't stand vermouth. I think it's disgusting. But anyway, enough about alcohol. <sighs> oh yeah, I was making chili. It's exciting, right? But I just thought I'd throw up a little beer review on there because I looked online and I couldn't find any useful information about Bud Select or Bud Select 55 because people seem to get on there and if they like Bud Select they just say it's really good or if they don't like Bud Select they'll say it tastes like piss or something and instead of providing what I would consider a useful review or I'm going to say yeah I like Bud Select it's okay but you know it doesn't have a lot of flavor which what do you expect from a 99 calorie beer as far as I'm concerned though it's a better trade off between you still have a 4.3% alcohol by volume. You still have decent flavor. It, to me, it's a lot better than other light beers. So instead of buying... I used to buy Miller Lite for my light beer, if I was going to have a light beer. And I, I think I'm going to switch to Bud Select for my light beer. I'm not going to buy Bud Select 55 again. I won't buy Michelob Ultra or Miller 64. That's just not happening. I wasn't impressed with either one of those. Although Michelob Ultra was a lot better than Miller 64. But Michelob Ultra is 95 calories. Miller 64 is, yep, you guessed it, 64 calories. I have to run back to the grocery store and pick up some hot peppers for the chili because somehow I neglected to pick any up. This is my amazing secret recipe for chili, and I must say, it's quite delicious. If anyone's in the Northwest Ohio area, you're welcome to have some free chili from Skyline 44512. There's no sexual innuendos or undertones that you might create there. I'm being serious about just chili. So, have a good holiday, guys. I'll see you.